Hi there, I'm Jonathan Williamson from Porsche Center Calgary. Today, we're gonna to be taking a look into Cosmos Collision, which is our Porsche Certified Collision Center. I'd like to introduce to you the owner of Cosmos Collision. Uh, hi, yeah, love, well, yeah, yes. Please follow, yeah. This is operation center. This is where we do paperwork. When the customer come in, we do uh, booking, and estimating, and we process everything right here. Yeah. So everything we do is start from right here. So yeah. Okay. So now. Let's So uh, tell us a little bit about the shop and uh, when did you open this shop? So we opened uh, Cosmo Collision since 2008, uh, February 25th to be exact. And then we operate at the other location for three years before we move them down here. So right now we own this facility. So the advantage of that is we can constantly improve the shop because now you can look at the lighting, the ventilation, and we keep the shop nice and clean so that the customer will be really happy when they bring the can here. Yes. I support the uh, Porsche and I ride uh, Porsche and I support the vehicle. So you see that right there. I'm a proud member of uh, the White Road Porsche Club and I support uh, other uh, chapter too, so Vancouver Island. So, uh, Locke, um, tell me, tell me a little bit about this sign. I know it's uh, something very special to you. Yeah, so this one here, one day by chance, from that acquaintance, I know that uh, someone in Vancouver, they want to sell uh, two of the Porsche vintage side. He acquired from a dealer that he worked for for 25 years. So after a lengthy interview, I told him that I, want to sign here so that I can reserve them and I hang them up so that everyone can see. I asked him to have a history of the, the sign. He put them in an envelope, he sealed them. I tapped them on the back of the sign and I have him say his name on it. So he sealed them over here so I put a clear coat on to protect them and then we hang them up here. I have one side here and one on the other side. <laughs> So I have been a member of the White Row Club here for seven years. Right now, I have um, a, a 2018 GTS and I have a 2018 Cayenne and another one is the uh, 89G model. Right. That's the one we put them on for a Porsche Classic of Canada contest. Yeah. So we know here at Cosmos, you guys do a little bit more than just collision repair. So uh, this is pretty much a full restoration, isn't it? Yeah. So for me, um, this business here is a passion for me. And now I love to restore um, a Porsche because the part of me, I want to reach the result on about heritage here. Oh, it looks so good in the sunlight. Wow. What a stunner. <laughs> All right. How's it feel to see it out in the sunlight now? <laughs> it's beautiful because this one here is the best uh, color I ever paint on any car. Absolutely. Because this one here is just the uh, perfect wow. for a 914 and the customer, he have an exceptional good choice yes. of the color. They call it the Denim Blue. It's the Mercedes color. Right. But you look at it, the chain color, uh, depend on the uh, sun. And then when you look at it, it's just like the texture of the jean. Yeah. Yeah. You have a sea of purple on it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> From the factory, likely it wouldn't have been painted the same way you know what I mean like the all the panels that you don't see are painted here in this case where in the factory it would have just been something else so in the factory so they will have the cat the door mouth and they open the door yep they paint them but they don't paint the inside right. they don't cover everything but here 
You see that we paint for factory don't paint the inside. Yeah, they just paint on the outside perimeter of the panel only. Right. Not the whole thing like here. <laughs> and same with the floor. And then you look at the uh, uh, cavity here. So factory, they seal them, they put primer, but they don't paint the whole thing. Yeah. So now we do restoration. So um, the level of care and everything, so it, it's different. So we paint everything. Yeah. Yeah. That richer, he the proud owner. <laughs> because when it's done, uh, for sure, yeah. he will bring them back and then, yeah. Great. Excellent. Well, we can't wait to catch up with you once you're uh, once it's ready. Cool. All right. Well, let's move on to uh, Locks Corner, and here's his personal um, Porsche 911 GTS, and he has a couple other surprises that he's going to share with us today. Tell us a little bit about this corner and uh, what makes everything in here so special to you. So on this one here, uh, we call it Lock Corner because uh, it just I started care, yeah, for the winter, but it showcased my passion because, uh, yeah, that the uh, GTS there, I mean, that a uh, dream. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a beautiful car, the handling and everything. You cannot have any complaint or you cannot have any negative. Yeah. Uh, because this is the only car ever I can go around the corner at whatever speed and keep one hand on the steering wheel and I not worry. Yeah. Yeah, because the, the handling is so precise. And this one here, um, this is a 1957 uh, Volkswagen bus. Uh, this is another showcase of uh, German uh, technology. We have 1957, but they built a car so strong, but simple. So, that's it. And uh, another, my passion, a scooter. Yeah. So uh, I restored them. And for me, this is a way to reserve our heritage. Because those things here, when it's gone, it's gone. Yes. You don't see them. Yeah. yeah. And it's uh, beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, they're all the, lots of components intricately placed and everything has a purpose, right? Like yeah. there's there's just so much thought and precision behind every single thing that we have in here. So yeah, and it's kind of neat to actually seeing your uh, your GTS up here and being able to see the, uh, the rear end underneath here yeah. and uh, seeing how closely put together everything is. And uh, you know, this isn't a view that a lot of people get every day. <laughs> yes, yeah, exactly. And uh, right now, when I see the sunset out there, I'm just really, really itchy to take the one out for a spin right now. I can't even wait. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's almost sports car season. You're uh, you're going to be letting it out pretty soon, I have a feeling. Uh, yes, because typical, I take them out in uh, middle of May. But the way it's right now, and uh, I'm so anxious for this, so <laughs> I said maybe uh, middle of April, I take them out because I cannot look at it and not drive in it. Wow, look at those. They're absolutely beautiful. Yeah. So this seat here is a uh, 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 custom. And um, the letter here, uh, two-tone. And on the letter here is uh, two Porsche spec. Wow. So it's not just the whatever letter. No, they call them uh, the tobacco. Tobacco. Yes. Beautiful. Yes. Yeah. So this is probably even nicer than original spec, eh? Hey? Just oh, yes. <laughs> this one is way nicer because uh, this one here, the letter now compared to 30 years ago, this is top quality letter, and then the interior of my uh, the vehicle. So before plastic. Yeah. So now we cover everything in letter. Oh wow. Letter. So. <laughs> And on the, that's the vehicle, they come with on the modern technology. Uh, majority of them still Porsche, but the quality is way better than before. So uh, now with the Porsche Classic program, when the dealer goes to the vehicle, then it will be actually better than when they left the factory. Yes. No doubt about it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yes. So whenever uh, the vehicle come in here, we repair. We insist on using um, OEM part. So you see on the band here, um, original Mercedes, original Audi, uh, Porsche, and everything. Repair the vehicle. Everything we use to work on here, 
down to minor detail we always use original pack that minor thing uh, information emblem original down to little nut and bowl everything is from the manufacturer you see that the, in this shop here whenever we the customer drop the car off so first thing we do we bring them in and then we wash we clean the car we inspect them make sure uh, we know uh, we check make sure everything works like the window the light and uh, the dashboard and everything and then we wash we clean them before we send them over to the technician to work on and if we have the car with an accident we bring them in here we put them in this section here and then we take them apart we do an estimate yes when we work on the vehicle we have the uh, original scan so this one from Porsche and then we have the, uh, the computer scanner that's the same as the dealer same equipment this is a passion it's not just a, a product it's not a job it's something it, it, uh, it's a passion we want something that we we cherish we love so much and then we want it to be um, how to describe them right we, we said perfection is not even good enough this one for the neck low and you see that we match them up ready and typically they have uh, the color mix up so as soon as that one done they put that one out this one come and they repeat it Uh, aluminum workstation yeah. walks uh, heavily invested in the aluminum uh, repair section of his shop so this is where aluminum vehicles are repaired and uh, there's all all these specialized tools that are brought in from Germany now this one is steel but when we work on aluminum so requirement we have to close it up and then on this one here you can see this one here this material here fire roof and then but they reflecting so that uh, they reflect the light so when we close them up you don't see the shadow mm -hmm. so the technician when they look at it uh, the light will not brighten them on the rivet we use in here we use original rivet um, so let's say on the big one here the insert uh, from Porsche so we have a mark in here so uh, yeah. Oh, we have Porsche rivets down to the rivet. <laughs> yes. This must be expensive. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure. And when we work on this vehicle like it, we not taking anything for less because they're the different when people buy the Porsche because the way they put them together, so everything works in harmony. So now, when you repair them, if you have uh, uh, even a tiny. 73 cent washer that not designed and approved by Porsche then your vehicle will not perform the same way so symbol that and then in here on the tool we use here um, see, everything here those two they will never see alum uh, steel no uh, cross contamination yeah. So does the red mean it's uh, for aluminum only? Is yeah. that correct? For aluminum only. And then on the this one here, you see that the uh, proof by Porsche itself, it has it from Germany. Yeah. Has it official German tools. <laughs> yeah. 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 And then this uh, frame machine here, this is a sled, so they stand for precision. It's the best piece of equipment when you repair the car because they bring them back to um, the original dimension right so on the aluminum uh, number one thing you worry is the corrosion so uh, when you work on the aluminum car if you have any steel they land on or they contaminate on the area that you're working on then we, they will lead to corrosion so we can we have to keep it clean so that's why on the equipment here yeah. and we have a specialty vacuum so because aluminum, actually, the fire powder from aluminum is very dangerous. Right. So we have a specialty uh, uh, protective equipment here. 
So in case we have a fire or something like that, they only can, they can put out a fire. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you have one out there. Yeah. And then so, uh, this one here, you see on the machine here, everything you see VS here, VS here and here. So on the, the design point and approved by the manufacturer, and then they have um, uh, slots so you can put the software on. So when you weld them, uh, even on certain portions, you have to set them different way so that you can weld them the right way. Correct? Yes. Yeah. Without a photo, you don't know or how do you know the repair will be done properly. So uh, we took a lot of photo every step of the way and then we provide uh, the, the customer with the uh, invoice for part and the customer, they can call the dealer to verify that because so that they know that every part we buy we don't return them but we actually work uh, put on the car install on repair and then we take picture and mechanical work everything done at the dealer with the invoice so, yeah. so look tell me what is the most exciting one that you've uh, mm. that you've been able to uh, collect recently one that i'm really exciting when I get them a what yeah I love GT2 RS Club Sport what makes that one so special for you that's one there we work on several of the uh, GT2 RS so uh, one day I walk into the dealer and then I saw this display case here and I talked to Derek and uh, he introduced me to the collection. Then I bought one case and um, two cars. And he gave me a couple to start with. Then I realized that uh, most of them, they come with the Liberty Edison. So a number of vehicle. So that's why I just start to collect them. Because, uh, How can uh, you not, right? <laughs> yeah. But uh, this Price one here, possession. yes, yeah, that's my most pride. Processor, yes. Exactly, and there's so many little details to it, exactly yes. like that. And this one Very here, cool. a number 958 of the 2017 issue. Every the tiny detail and the workmanship is impeccable. Stuck. That we cannot put them down the shop, so we have to keep it in here. I insist that we have to give the same equipment. So what got you into scooters originally? Uh, scooter. I grew up in Vietnam and uh, in the Asia country, a scooter is the part of a culture. So people use a scooter to go from A to B, yep. uh, daily transportation. So I grew up with it and now try to relieve my memory. And the customer, he picked up the car in Germany, he rode them and then have an accident. They offered to fix the car in Germany before they ship them over. But he insisted that uh, they have to bring the car back to Calgary and we fix it here locally. So of course, uh, the vehicle come here. And the customer, he called me and then he very specific, said, uh, can we meet at so six o'clock? so we can talk. So he came in, we went over to his vehicle and he asked me to show him around, show him the shop. And then as we talk, then he will look at my shoe. And then he said, oh, Alan Edmund. Then I said, yes, we bought. And I look at his shoe, it's the same. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then he will, and after that, he looked at me, a little bit funny. Then he grabbed my hand and then he said uh, Rolex. Then I said IWC. <laughs> yeah. So that is something that uh, a different brand of watch. Yeah. Right. So we're different. And then he tell me, uh, you like camera? I said, yes. So he said Nikon. Then I said uh, Leica. And then he said, okay, I make the right choice. <laughs> yeah. yeah, because what I see is that a lot of our customers, I share the same passion with them. We like uh, the quality, 
we like speed and then uh, we like to find a thing in life <laughs> so yeah so i that is just one example because i seen them all the time exactly yeah yeah uh one time i have a customer come to the shop yeah and then i came out and greet him he busy to do some sign some hit document so when i saw hit pain then i said the uh, mont blanc unicef he looked at me i put my pattern pen and show him then he said here the key <laughs> See, yeah. so it's all about relationships, much like when you come into the dealership that, uh, you know, we're, we're here to, you know, find our commonality and to uh, make sure that you're happy with the product and uh, the service that you get. So we're all passionate. We're all enthusiasts. We all uh, have a lot in common beyond just our passion for Porsche. But um, that passion for Porsche basically uh, filters through almost every single thing we do every single day. Right, Locke? Yeah. And uh, just right, because every time I deal with the customer they come in here i would say 90 percent of the time then i have a friend because we develop a lifetime relationship and i give my customer a personal uh, service thank you so much for sharing your passion yeah. with us log you yeah. are definitely very inspirational you're a wonderful local businessman and uh, yeah. you know of course a, a one t a fantastic client of ours as well so <laughs> we're we're very grateful to uh, have this relationship with you yes. as well and uh, work on these projects with you yeah okay thank you thanks log